Charlotte Lewis here of Concordia University St. Paul's Writing Center, bringing you a little demonstration on how to set up your formatting for blocked quotes per APA style. APA says any quote that is 40 words or longer should be indented or blocked. How I tell if my quote is longer than 39 words is by highlighting it. I'm going down to this little area that says word count, and it says 49, so indeed that has to be blocked. First thing I like to do is put the quote on its own section. It can't be part, it has to be on its new line. So I press enter after the introduction to the quote, and right after the quote, I press enter again. Since this sentence is actually part of this paragraph, I want it to be flush left rather than indented. So I will go to View and put on my ruler. And since my cursor is in the right spot, I will go up to the ruler to bring the top triangle, click it, and drag it over to flush left. Now, this indicates that this is not a new paragraph. It's still part of that one. Um, another aspect that APA wants for blocked quotes is no quotation marks. I'm going to remove the quotes, quotation marks from the quote. Another little picky thing APA likes is to have the period for blocked quotes before the opening parentheses of the parenthetical citation rather than after. That's an exception to the rule. And lastly, I'm going to, well, almost lastly, I'm going to highlight the quote, use my ruler tool to grab the bottom triangle, not the top triangle, not the bottom rectangle, but I'm going up to the bottom triangle, clicking my mouse and dragging it over. So the whole quote is indented half an inch. It's an almost the last thing because I like to, before a blocked quote, quote, have it be a colon rather than a comma. Make sure that blocked quotes begin with a capital letter. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for formatting your blocked quote per APA style. Thanks for listening.